champion, we all know Brock Lesnar can wrestle. But the real question is, does he have what it takes to be a mixed martial artist? We're here at the Minnesota Martial Arts Academy, where his trainers Marty and Greg are going to take him through his MMA workout. But generally, uh, my part is putting together the whole mixed martial arts aspect of his fighting. He's coming in from a wrestling background. What I do is I'm plugging in over this last year, year and a half, the boxing, the submissions, you know, tying it all together. Just one, two, three, hit. One knee grab. One, two, bring it up. Come back to position. One thing about Brock Lesnar is he's mentally tough. When we put him through training, when we put him through the physical workouts, the two and three day workouts, you don't ever see him wince. You don't ever see him nice. come up and say, ah, I've had enough, I'm done. So what are you guys going over now? Uh, we're kind of finishing out the workout for today. We're going to finish off with uh, leg kicks, working his leg kick drills, okay. and finally uh, ending with the ground and pound on the bag. Every workout, I want to push myself to where, you know, I don't know if I've got anything left. I definitely feel that he's he's ready to go out there and, and really uh, show that he is one of the, you know, potentially top heavyweights out there right now. Hopefully I uh, get to utilize these a little bit. I just don't have trouble getting into these double X's. I, I picked up a pair of uh, double X U, uh, UFC gloves and I have trouble getting my hands in them. So I asked for, for Triple X, and uh, I, th I believe that they're going to make some. I hope so. My whole philosophy on, uh, on nutrition and weight training and, and uh, all those things, for me, I sweat profusely. I mean, it, it, when I start working out, I'll drop anywhere between 8 to 12 pounds. When we're in our hardest training cycles, Brock's going to have a harder time trying to keep his weight on than he would trying to gain weight. So I'm eating calories. I'm eating a lot of calories. I don't have to cut weight to make 265 now. It's high protein, high calories. I drink a gallon of water a day with electrolytes in it, and, and let's, let's get it back in the body so uh, I can get uh, replenished and, and uh, feel, start feeling good for my next workout. Start to pick it up a little bit as you start to feel comfortable with it, a little, a little quicker, just get the eyes ready. You just saw his technique and power. And when we return, Brock's going to show us his strength as we head to his personal gym where he's going to pump some iron. When UFC All Access return. I went from, you know, making a lot of money and, and uh, having a lot of things, but it's not all about having the nicest vehicle, you know. My wife digs it. I like that remote control antenna on it, you know. I got a remote control for it at home. People are surprised because they've seen what I used to drive and now I drive the Red Rocket, my little car. Pop in the luxury sedan. It ain't all about looking good, I don't care. We warmed up and um, we just grappled. We got five one minute goes of uh, grappling. and then we uh, finished up with, with some pummeling, some live goes on our feet. The whole idea of it is to get in, get your work done, get out of the gym. I'm not gonna get in any better shape right now. Wham, bam. It's snowing as we speak, as you can see, and I've got to work out uh, in about 20 minutes. Before my workout, it started snowing today, and I uh, get in my tractor and plow the driveway out a little bit. You can take the boy out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the boy. Tonight's workout, get a blow in on the elliptical, get warmed up, get a sweat going. And then just come in the weight room and get a nice heavy uh, circuit lift in. It's a feel-good lift, but yet at the same time, I want to get something out of it, too. Even though Brock weighs 265 pounds, he's got the strength of a man that weighs 400 pounds. That lift there is just, for me, it's more of a mental lift. This is what I've been doing my whole life, is working out and training, so. That's a wrap for the week.
first time I ever watched UFC, absolutely I was a fan of it, you know. I thought, I can do this. I've been training in mixed martial arts, you know, jiu-jitsu, boxing, Muay Thai, you know, all these things for a year and a half. He's been here before. He walks out there in this first fight, everyone keeps telling me, what about the pressure, you know, all these things. It's like, Brock's been there before. He's competed. I've put time, blood, sweat, tears into my workouts. Now, the lion's hungry, feed me. Brock's just going out to put on a fight and he's excited to do it. He thrives on this, it makes him happy, and not only is this exactly what he wants to be doing, I think it's gonna be a, a long-lasting career for him. My number one goal is to be the best heavyweight in the UFC. I'm ready for Vegas, baby. Okay, are you, you're done now? That's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. I know you're a private guy, and uh, this has been an honor, so thank you. Thank you very much for coming. All right, this is Brock Lesnar. I'm Rochelle Leah, and this has been UFC All Access. We'll see you next time. Is that where the gun show is? <laughs> <laughs>